Hello, this is Elsie here today. I want to talk to you, this is a real short video, but I want to talk to you about the Halloween. We just celebrated, America has just celebrated the um, Halloween holiday, which uh, for those who don't know what's Halloween, it's a holiday, it's a big, huge, many, I would say almost every household except a few mostly they could be christian or some independent who just don't think this is a holiday they want to celebrate but it's a widely um, celebrated holiday here in america and uh, what they do practically is they dress themselves in costumes of all kinds of of things like they dress in um uh, customs of uh, uh, ghosts and they dress in customs of with the skeletons on them they uh, have blood sometimes maybe not real blood they make up some things like blood splat all over the the places and then they decorate their, their houses with the uh, anything that represents sort of like the dead or something like that and then you find some people inside there who are also going to dress themselves as angels and uh, princesses and queens and kings and uh, all kinds of varieties of different things sometimes animals a lot of animals too uh, you know you find all kinds of uh, uh, things that that are people they put a customs on and also they put uh, things on their doors decorations uh, the yards, you find skeletons on the yards and things like that. And this holiday is uh, taken very lightly. I'm not going to go into the history, but um, from what I have been looking and reading, it started back in the 1600s, and it's, it's well read that you can go on Google and you can just find out what this holiday is all about. So I'm not going to go into that. But because I talk about cultural things and the differences and the, what one can be shocked with, this was one of my culture shock. Um, being born and raised in Zimbabwe, for those who don't know me, I'm a native of Zimbabwe who have lived here for 25 years. And uh, I came here well seasoned of knowing my culture, my people, my, our ways, how we do things and what we believe and what we don't believe. Um, when I came first to America, I was exposed to this holiday. It happens once a year. And um, my first reaction was really, I, I could not understand it could be a holiday. Because where I come from, we, what, what this holiday pertains to, what they talk about, what they celebrate, or what they do, it's real. There is no pretending. There is no, we are just partying. If you are dressed in a certain way and you are um, doing things, t telling stories of certain ghostly stories and the dead and this and that, you are really doing it. Because we also have similar, traditionally we have similar um, ceremonies where people, they literally they they have a party a big party of celebrating their ancestors and things like that but you are not going to do it in a way sort of like you are joking you are playing or it's just a joke you don't even know what you are doing exactly you just kind of follow into the into the whole thing because the whole nation is doing it you wouldn't do that because it's taken very very serious so my first reaction was like, I am not going to be a part of this. I just going to leave myself out of this. I'm not going to be a part. But the first time I had to be a part was when my daughter wanted the, um, a costume for school. And everyone had to come with a costume. And I remember I negotiated that in, in, my, in my mind. I said, okay. I think I'll do the princess custom because I think maybe it's a lighter version of the whole thing that I'm seeing. I'll do the princess. So I got her princess custom. But of course, I think being raised, knowing that 
this is not what we celebrate as a joke, as a party, as something just minor. It's serious. I end up, I just did not participate in the Halloween. But what I'm saying is that, you know, when you move in certain places, those who travel, they come to here to America. And I have heard a lot of stories of people who come here and they happen to come in October, which Halloween is celebrated the end of October. And they happen to be in October and the uh, whole decorating of the houses and all that. And even in the stores, they remove everything and they put Halloween things. The candy, which I call sweets in one of my videos that you can see that I talk about the different things that what we call them. Um, the candy and the sweets, they are all having this theme of the Halloween. So when a person gets into the store, the first thing they are thinking is, what is going on? What is, what exactly is going on here? They cannot picture, they cannot, uh, 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 really just can tell if you are new. And to any person who live in America, they will think, oh, yeah, just, just, that's, that's Halloween. But you'll be scaring someone to death because they don't know what you are talking about and you are looking at a skeleton even though it might not be a real human being some bones that were made up to be like a real human being but it will be looking like a, a human being and it's real it's real to other cultures to my culture as a zimbabwe those things are real and you cannot openly say well we celebrated halloween because people they will take you serious they are going to think you do these things. There is some rituals that you play and you play the rituals with the wrong things because you are putting on maybe dark stuff, blood around and all that. It represents in our culture, could represent real some dark elements of the certain spirit world that you are representing. So again, wrong, right, I can't say, but I know that this was one of my culture shock. It was huge. It was big. I mean, I was shocked. I didn't know what to, to think. And um, still today, I always think, you know, what's the origin of this holiday? And I go back and read and try to find out what's the origin. And the origin, obvious, was definitely people who were celebrating the, the dead. And that was really the origin. And then it was adapted by the Christian world. And then they tried to make it lighter, sort of, by uh, having people have candy and the children participate. And I don't know exactly what was the motivation of the Christian world wanting to adapt it. I don't know that part. But I know that it was adapted and it was made slightly lighter than what it was. It was pretty serious, actually. It wasn't like a playing matter holiday. It was, it was a pagan holiday that was serious. So it wasn't like playing as people, they think that it's a playing matter kind of a, a holiday. No, it was a real uh, celebration and there was real ceremonies that was behind this that they celebrated. And for people who come from other places like me from Africa, Zimbabwe, I, I get shocked. And I think many of my fellow Africans or Zimbabwean, they also do get shocked with Halloween. A lot. They get shocked. They don't know what to think. They don't know how to really get themselves all involved in a holiday like Halloween. That's all I can say. But this is what America celebrates, and they celebrate it all the time. And it's getting bigger and bigger, I believe, every single year. They get bigger and bigger and bigger. And... That's what it is. And this is all I have today. And again, you know, I forgot to say first things first. Please subscribe, push the notification button, share the video because it, it's also very informative. And um, the more you share, the more people get educated. So please share. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.